concierge pad admin is available on the apple app store and on google play and it has a yellow background on the icon like you can see on the screen here this is a app store uh, screenshot and this is the one that you want to download to your device in terms of creating a username administration will send each user a email inviting them to access the application you will have the opportunity from your email to click on a link and provide a unique password to be able to create your credentials to then again be able to log into the device or to this application for more information on how to create a user please refer to our help center there's a lot of content around how to perform this action so now we're going to log in with our credentials our concierge pride credentials and i put it type in my username and my password and i click on the login button and in concierge pad admin we have four tabs at the bottom at our disposal the important thing to note here is all the way at the top where it says run one that is the current run that we're currently on a very important uh, item to understand is that every single morning a run has to be created there's two ways that that takes place the first is is that if you attempt in the morning to send in a transaction it will automatically create a run one however if you want to create one manually in the morning you can go into the settings tab and here it will tell you the current run that you're on and if you want to create one you can hit close and create type in a run and hit the close and create button but now I would like to cover how to send in a request so if this is a car line situation whether it's morning arrival or after school pickup the operator outside needs to select their lane the lane that they're managing so here we have two lanes in this configuration I'm gonna select lane one and the slot or zone I'm gonna select slot a so to explain this a little bit further the lane conceptually is the line how many lines you have outside right there's schools that have five lines schools that have um, two lines this can also be location front of the school back of the school okay and then the slot conceptually is the 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 different um, cones or different spots within a particular lane or location that administration is um, designated to and this is really helpful because when you send in the request it lets the teacher know or an administrator inside know exactly where you sent in the request from right so when I send in a request um, using this application um, it'll tell the person inside that it was from lane one slot a and the child can be um, delivered or dismissed to that specific location and then put inside the vehicle so I'm gonna mimic a um, a request inside the classroom um, I can I have the option to type in a search hanger ID um, I can look up a student by last name and send in a request that way or I can scan a QR code on the actual car tag itself that is visible on the vehicle and that is probably the easiest and obviously uh, touch free um, or, t or, or you don't have to type anything so if I click on uh, if I start typing in a hanger ID what's um, very neat about this is that it kind of works like Google 
Um, it does an autocomplete, shows you all the available um, car tags for that specific number as you start typing it in. Um, same thing for the last name. If I start typing in a last name, it'll show me all the students with that last name, right? And if I hit QR code, then the iPad camera will appear and it'll give you the opportunity to scan the QR code. Okay. But for this specific example, I am going to type in a family ID number or hanger ID. Okay. And I'm going to hit send request. It's going to give me a confirmation dialog box. Make sure that I really want to send in this request. And I'm going to click on yes. And that's it. What this does is that automatically sends that transaction in. And then if you can look at the top of the device, there's a text message that goes out to administration stating that a new request or a new student um, has either arrived for the day or that there is a um, after aftercare pickup uh, uh, available for those two students. So once those transactions come in or go in, um, on concierge pad admin, you can click on this queue, okay? And you could see that those two students that I just sent in are now in the queue. There's a couple of things that we can do at this point, uh, specifically for COVID type situations, we can now do um, disease exposure uh, questionnaire, or we can also do temperature reading. I'm going to start with uh, disease exposure and then I'll show you the temperature reading. So for disease exposure, uh, you have you can load up certain questions that you can ask the student. So if I click on this recite button, here are the questions that this school has designated to recite to a student. So you can state these questions out loud. And depending on what the student answer is, let's say the uh, student answered uh, favorably or, or answered no to all the questions, then this kind of works like Facebook. You can just hit the like button and it'll just put like, a little checkbox next to his name. If, um, if, they, if they answered uh, uh, yes to any of the questions, then you can do a dislike and that will turn uh, that checkbox into a little exclamation point. If I switch over to temperature reading, this gives me the opportunity to um, perform or input uh, temperature reading as you know a child is um, checking in for the day. And if they have a temperature reading and they, they, they don't detect the fever, then I can click on the like button and this basically uh, states that th there's like a little green uh, thermometer next to the name. Um, and if, if they detect a fever, they could click on the dislike button. And then here, because we've stated that a fever has been detected, um, a manual temperature reading has to be inputted, right? So I have to actually put in the temperature reading in Fahrenheit or temperature say yes I want to send it in and one of the interesting things that happens here is that as you can see on top a text message goes out to administrate administration stating that a temperature was identified right away and then a red thermometer is now next to that student now especially for the morning this is basically taking attendance, right? Every single student on this queue, if you're doing disease exposure questionnaire or temperature reading should have a icon next to that student name. If they don't, then you know that that student was skipped um, and you know that, that needs to be addressed. The other thing that I want to just bring up for a moment is the filtering for how we look at this data in the queue. Right now I have it set to my queue, which means that these are the students that I sent in the request for, but I also have the option to um, look at 
these uh, items or students by lane and slot. So I set in my send in lane one slot A. So if I hit lane one slot A, I should now see my students with respect to that configuration. And if I wanna see all students, meaning I wanna see the, uh, the, the culmination of all the students coming in from every single lane, every single slot that every single operator has performed, I can click on this all button and I would see all the students um, in this particular setting. And this setting is very good for, again, attendance, right? This gives me a full listing of all the students that have been sent in. And again, if I'm doing disease exposure and temperature reading, I should see an icon next to each and every single one of their names.